For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff out the Mad and Cheese as always. Got a passing play for you guys today that home runs just about every single defense in the game. But ultimately, the run plays are just as good as the pass plays. This whole offense is really meant to be used together. You're supposed to pound the rock and then basically bring that user down and then th you know throw a touchdown over the top. That's typically how I like to run my offense, and that's going to be exactly what I show you guys to do today. The formation itself is the single back deuce close so this will be the four plays in my audibles the halfback wham one of the best inside runs the halfback zone week one of the best inside runs and then the halfback stretch which is one of the best outside runs so those would be the three plays that i would have for running and then the pex post cross was like i said it's a one play touchdown against every defense in the game if you guys want to see more stuff out of the saints playbook or out of this formation hit the like button and let me know in the comment section there's really two pass plays i'm going to show today the pa post cross and the pa boot slide ultimately this formation is a very heavy run formation uh, with a few pass plays you can sprinkle in but this one here is going to be the best one out of all of them so it's going to pick that on the defensive side we're going to start off with cover two like we always do and work our way back as always this video is brought to you by my coin sponsor aoeh.com if you're going to get your mutt team up and support this channel at the same time check them out link in the description below and your discount code money to get three percent off what's guaranteed to always be the cheapest coins on the market so one of the best things about this formation was that you don't have any real tells the formation's even your opponent's never going to know which way the play is going so even if they try to user one of these routes which are going to be the explosive route they might not even guess which one's the right one because there's really two different routes to two different things the b route's going to be a really good check down against just about any defense but ultimately we're going to hit a one play touchdown against just about everything 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 uh, with a very similar setup we just have to put one of these tight ends on either a streak or a fade depending on what we're looking at now here we have a cover two so i have to put the delay fade on the a route that's pretty much all i have to do you're going to want to make sure that you have one of your slowest tight ends out here as we get a very bad pass but you can see he got over the top of the safety let's go and let's do that again you can flip this play by the way and it's there's no tell involved so if i want to go ahead like i typically want my slower tight end running this delay fade but if i just flip the entire formation since it's even there's no real animation nothing moves nothing changes so you can easily flip this play which is one of the cool things about it but ultimately this b route here i mean sammy Watkins is not as fast as hollywood brown but you can see how you can flip that play up if he's if your opponent's basically you know staying to one side trying to wait for that receiver or wait for that route you just flip the play and you can have the exact same effect you definitely want your fastest receiver running this route and you want your slowest tight end running that delay fade uh, that's going to be one of the things that makes this play work but like i said it works regardless even with sammy Watkins, who's not the you know he's a fast enough receiver but you can see i mean if i just want to flip the play and run it the opposite way it's there's no talent ball it's an easy one play touchdown this delay fade by the way has been totally broken since the november patch they tried to address it they just made it worse uh but ultimately there's still ways to get around it they just make it so that the delay fades you don't have the option when to release it it releases on its own but it still drops back long enough and holds back long enough that it brings safeties down on its side and that's really how i'm going to use it as you can see this safety here reacts to that lower route until this receiver crosses the center of the field that's the only point in time which he turns and at that point it's too late also works against cover two but before we go back in like i said i'm going to remove these guys you can put fullbacks you can put tackles you can put any number of slow players at these spots because ultimately you just want them to be a lot slower to pull safeties down so let's go and let's pick that play again on the defensive side we're just going to go with cover two man this time when it comes to cover two man you're going to want to drop these safeties back so putting the wire out on the streak makes the most sense and then the running back itself 
Um, I just want to put on a pass block. So I'm going to slide my protection because I'm going to roll in the direction of the A route, or at least try. And then you can see here, once again, we have, because that safety's pulled back, and I get passed, once again, not, I mean, the, the, the blocking wasn't really there. To me, the double delay fades is really the issue when it comes to this play um, against cover two because they really mess up the blocking. But, you know, if you have a mobile quarterback, you can basically just roll out and, you know, make the play that way, which is pretty much depending on. Doing it from the pocket's a little bit harder. And then next up, we'll do cover three, although we'll switch it up. We'll go to nickel. We'll give the defense a little bit of an advantage here. So against a defense like cover three, it's really better just to put the B route on a five yard out and streak the Y route. Then I can slide my protection. I can roll in the direction, have an extra blocker. All these things are a better uh, setup as far as blocking, even if they're not as glitchy when it comes to uh, what I'm trying to do. But you can see, we get over the top of that cornerback. It's not as big of a window. The delay fade makes it a bigger window. But like I said, it's really up to you. The delay fades, the double delay fade, it really works well. I'll put my B route on the five yard out once again. Uh, it really works well, but like I said, it really hurts you as far as blocking. So it's like if you don't have a mobile quarterback, it's going to be a bigger issue anyway. And you can see, I mean, we still get past that. So it's really up to you. There's two different ways to do this. Against cover three, you have to be aware of where you run it from the hash mark as well. Same thing goes with cover four. Cover four, you have to run it from a certain hash mark too. So let's pick that. Against cover three, you have to run it from the hash mark to the open side of the field. But against cover four, you have to run to the short side. Once again, we're just going to put that Y route on a streak. Although realistically, you don't even have to do that. Against cover four, this play here pretty much one plays it without any adjustments. And you can see how it's getting right past the safety there uh, because of that uh, that deep crossing route. There's a couple different things you can do. I mean, you can make this even better if you put him on a uh, on a drag. I think that that will bring that safety down even more. Uh, but you can see here now it's going to be more of an outside play. But you can see he still kind of runs right past him. So there's a couple different ways you could do this play as well. But you have to run it from a hash mark to the short side of the field. But ultimately, this can be a cover for one play touchdown with no adjustments. So I think the drag is best. That definitely brings it down right here once again. Now we have Matthew lit up. Just bullet past lead past him. And you can see he's just running right through. Uh, his zone areas he really can't catch up he can't turn around and make play and then against cover four quarters which is cover four match cover four quarters has to be the most unique for whatever reason they they follow this route they lead this route like if i run this like this you're going to see how the safety of this cornerback both of them really just lead that receiver i mean that's something that had to be patched but ultimately you can change this anyway by just simply motioning this receiver out and then putting both tight ends on comeback routes on 10 yard comeback routes although i accidentally did it with the b route too but that's fine it doesn't really matter those 10 yard comeback routes will get the job done and then you'll see once again this uh, cornerback will fall behind the receiver so that was clearly patched but you could easily break that so that play home runs just about every single defense in the game but i'm gonna give you guys a good counter play so you have something else and that's going to be the bench so this is something that you can basically dink and dunk your opponent with let's go and let's pick that on the defensive side we're just going to go random set up for this is real easy put the a route on a streak put the y route on a drag that's all you got to do your routes are pretty much going to be the b route or the y route i don't even really have to worry about um, the other receivers you can see right here I mean, we have the check down right here that's going to be a man beater or a zone beater who should be opening it's just about everything but hard flats uh, and then you also have i mean i can put the x route on a, on a 10 yard in too so i can give myself like another check down but i don't think i'm really gonna need that too much and then you can see right here I mean, that's a cover three he's gonna get outside of that any zone coverage that route's gonna get open it'll also be man coverage is a lot so this is your full setup here all you really have to do is go from the B route to the Y route to the X route. That's your read progression. See so right here, I don't know what they were looking at. I don't know what that was, but it was either man coverage or cover quarters. He gets outside of it. Like I said, that route's going to get open against most things. And uh, like I said, you just got to smart route that 10 yard out. Here we go once again. Like I said, I'm trying to hold for that B route the entire time. See right there, another man coverage. He gets outside of it. He's got a bullet and pass lead away. Um, but like I said, that route or the Y route, with this setup, we'll get open against just about any man or zone. So it's something you can run pretty much all game. So one of the best things about this formation is you can really run it to either side. You have an even formation and you have a tight formation. So the blocking on a formation like this, it's just all in the box. And that's going to help me out no matter what play I run from it, whether it's the, the wham, the zone weak, the stretch, it doesn't matter. I'm going to have the ability to just straight up flip the play. If I see something on, on the other side, I just basically flip it with the right stick and no real um, you know motions or adjustments or anything is going to happen uh, like you would against a lot of other formations. I don't really find that this formation needs anything 
anything as far as like uh, you know motions across or anything like that a lot of times when you motion anyway you don't really get the motion that you want you basically get like a full back which is something that you can do I mean on a play like this especially I can give myself all that extra overpowered blocking and you can see how you know kind of gives away where you're going but it doesn't really matter because it's still a really good play because it's an even formation your opponent's never gonna know what they're looking at and I still think it's best just to run it as is so this play here the first play that I'm choosing which is the halfback zone week this is gonna be best against like cover twos cover two man cover two zone because typically the safeties will play back and that will just give you a good opportunity to get to the next level as you can see right there the first play I get about seven very consistent inside run play this is a play where really all you have to do is run it to whatever side um, has the bigger gap or you know away from a superstar player but that's pretty much it and you can see right here there's a much there's a bigger gap on this side once i get through that first hole i mean if i had to stretch that to the sideline a little bit quicker i probably would add a much bigger run but there's nothing really to that. The halfback zone week is a very easy play to diagnose. It's just a good inside run. I do feel like sometimes it's a good idea to motion across this tight end as well. Um, he doesn't always run off. I mean, sometimes he does his job a little bit better, as you can see right there. Like I said, it's a little bit of a giveaway of where you're going with the ball or where you're going with the play. But it's still uh, something that uh, helps. Like right here, I'll go ahead and I'll take it to the other side. Same thing. Give myself that extra blocker. You can have success doing this. Although ultimately, like I said, it'll definitely have the user crashing in that area. Now the wham is another play. It's probably best against cover two man or zone once again. This play here, you can flip with the right stick. You got to flip the entire play with the right trigger. But ultimately, it's the exact same uh, inside run. Um, I just feel like the wham play, it was never really my favorite run. But I know a lot of people that really like the wham plays. You can see right here, we're first run around the gate. We're getting about 10. Had to make a little bit of a shifty move there. But this is something where I would say it's kind of counterintuitive. I would say it'd be best to run it. Uh, once again, I'm going to run to the gap. But you're going to see how this wham here uh, basically splits open that hole. And then, like I said, I mean, it's just like a trap play. Trap plays in general are very overpowered. But the wham play is still very effective. It's still one of the meta run plays in the game. Uh, as you can see, I mean, we're getting, um, you know, just some very big runs. I mean, I'm getting 10 yards before anybody's even getting close to me. Like here we have an all-out blitz. This is something where typically you probably want to run the stretch, but ultimately I can still have success with this. As you can see, I mean, we just get, you know, all the blockers. When you see that hands up animation, that means you're getting uh, good blocks. So you got two options for good inside runs, but to me, the best run is the stretch. The outside run is going to be key. Cover three, cover four, uh, man blitzes, anything, this is going to be the best way to go, in my opinion. The fact that you can flip it and run to either direction is what's really so key about it. Once again, you have an even formation, your opponents never, there's no real tell. There's no real tell on which direction direction you're going with this stretch play which to me is what makes this such a good play so we'll go ahead and we'll just keep doing this like i said i can just run this outside all game especially against cover three and cover four where the cornerbacks play back here it looks like we have what's probably a cover three but if it is a man coverage you'll see those cornerbacks will follow the x receiver away as you can see that's probably what happened there that's pretty much just a foot race to get around to the outside like i said this is a very consistent run like I said, my favorite thing about this is definitely the fact that there's no tell. There's no giveaway as to where you're going. Like I said, right there, you can see that guy. He just gets a piece. All he has to do is get a piece, and I can sprint around and get outside and get a very big play. And that's pretty much how you want to make your reads. Your, your wham, anytime you have a spread defensive alignment, the wham is going to be huge. Same thing with the halfback zone weak. They're going to be best against cover twos. Both of them are going to be best against cover twos. But the wham can really be good against anything. Uh, and then the stretch is really going to be best against man coverages, cover threes and cover fours. I mean, you're really just looking for where the, uh, the space is pre-snap. Now, you can make that same motion with the tight end uh, in the stretch play. And I still find it's best to not give away where you're going. I think that's one of the, um, you'll always have an advantage against the user in a formation like this. And if you make that motion, you lose that advantage. So it's really up to you if you want to lose that advantage. Cause I'd rather not, the user's the most dangerous guy on the field. I'd rather him not know whether I'm going left or going right. That's going to be my, uh, you know, advantage, especially when it comes to the passing plays. So that's it. That's the video. If you guys want to see more out of this formation or more out of this playbook, hit the like button. And let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below. Thank you.